But guys, today, ramen review continues. There's a new ramen place in town. It's called Ramen Hiroshi, Saramount City Center. I think I've heard of it before. If I'm not mistaken, it was at Walnut Creek. Basically all windows as the um, building exterior. Got a nice uh, ramen noodle decor on the wall. Got curry up now across from here. Um, this was actually open next to Ramen Nagi in Palo Alto as well. So it looks like curry up now is going to be opening next to all of the ramen restaurants in the world. But anyway, we're going to give it a go because I'm feeling quite hungry. The sandwich place does look quite good down there. I don't know, but I'm liking how this uh, mall is turning out. It gives a nice uh, metal feel. It looks like Ramen Hiroshi is just open. 5 p.m. I guess we're gonna give it a go. There's a plane. Wow, they're offering inside seating now. Do you hear that? They said, would you eat inside or outside? It's a bit worrisome. My personal opinion. Not gonna lie, man. Inside or outside? Outside. <laughs> I guess this is quite new because um, the many times that we did pass by this place, it was closed down. So guys, if you go right through that portal, it'll bring you right to the menu, guys. But basically, we're uh, viewing the re menu right now. And as you can see, they have starters, which they serve chashu as a starter, which is interesting. They got edamame as always. Um, Harenzo, I that's... That doesn't seem like a Japanese staple, but I don't know. We could, we might give it a go. Spinach, you got cucumber, vegetables, lotus root. You got some salads as well. And they got some fried things like chicken karage, which is pretty standard. And then the gyoza looks quite unique. Yeah, it got some fried squid legs, which does look quite tasty. And yeah, Rankin chips. Oh, I do love those. Uh, you got some wings, which is interesting. And then, yeah, here's the ramen. So you got tonkatsu ramen, shio ramen, shoyu, yuzu shoyu. Yuzu, if you didn't know, is a Japanese citrus. Miso and tantamen, which I'm not really quite sure what exactly that is. I am going to go for the tonkatsu ramen just to try to compare it to other ramen places. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we got the, this like plum salad. Have you ever tried those like a, it's like a dried plums? In Chinese you call them uh, in Chinese you call them sanmei. It tastes like that with a combination of like soy sauce, but like not really. Let's add some uh, lemon and let's give this go. Not bad, not bad. I don't really know how to describe it, but it's crispy. I noticed a bunch of ramen staples immediately. You got green onions, which is very nice. Got some bamboo. This is different, this is a lotus in the middle. So let's give it that a go. And then you got the egg, which seems to be a little bit more well done, but let's give it a go anyway. The yolk is definitely more well done which some people like some people don't I like it when it's a little bit runny let's go ahead and try the broth really quick it's a little bit different than like ramenagi for example um, I'm honestly not quite sure how to describe it let's, let's, let's really quickly try the noodles before I give some more thoughts it doesn't have that much of a chew to it. Um, if you like harder noodles, you may want to eat it faster because the more it sits in the broth, the more the softer it's gonna get. I'll give it like an eight or an eight and a half. Might be an eight, eight point three, two, five, six. 
All right, guys. So final takeaways from Roman Hiroshi. Personally, I don't think there's anything that's super duper unique about the restaurant. The ramen is fine. It's just I don't really think there's anything super duper unique about this place um, that differentiates it from other ramen places that are really great. Like I'm just using ramen nagi as an example, but they have insane customization. But yeah, I guess that wraps up the video. Honestly, it's not that bad. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope this ramen review was more helpful than the other ones where literally I just state a number. And I will see you guys next time on Bob the Future.